Well, a group of international air safety regulators is set to release a new report on the approval process for those Boeing 737 MAX jets. This report is expected to deliver strong criticism of the FAA. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. Our Boeing expert, Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan, is here with more. Hi, Alexis. Hi. So what should we make of this? We're all waiting for some kind of update because I feel yeah. like every week, at least, we hear whispers of things coming. Maybe the date is pushed back, but we're waiting on like a, a hard document that gives us some new answers on the process. So if this one does come first, this would be it. This is an international group that consists of airline air uh, safety regulators around the world. They include regulators from the US, Canada, China, Indonesia, UAE, EU and Brazil. So this would be the first official report. And what the Wall Street Journal is reporting is that there's a critique contained in here, that it, it has evolved into a larger mandate to say, look, FAA, you should not be delegating so much responsibility to Boeing engineers. And I'm sure you all remember that the way that this works is that engineers were designated at at uh, Boeing to actually uh, participate in the regulatory process and approve things like data and software and hardware. And so that it's sounding like from this Wall Street Journal report that they might want that to change. Yeah. Right. So I was going sure to say, well, I was going to say, so, okay, great. We just get a criticism of the FAA. Oh, like, but what, then maybe there will be what, a response. Huh? Right. I'm, I'm wondering, like, really, what kind of changes are we going to make? Because we at Boeing, we saw no one get fired. We didn't see anyone at, at the FAA really get too much of a criticism. I'm, I'm kind of like, what? what's not, next? Right? Not yet. Now, remember, though, that this committee that was set up, this global committee, it was, this was a mandate from the FAA. They set it up. So, you know, they are opening up to receiving this criticism. And for Boeing's part, here's what they said in response, at least to the Wall Street Journal's report. They said, we look forward to the publication of the JATR report when it is complete. Our team is determined to keep improving on safety in partnership with the global aerospace industry and broader community. In addition, Boeing has their own internal committee that they have set up in order to review these processes. They're also looking at uh, changing the way that their engineers report before the crashes. Their, their engineers would report to business managers who are you know, production and, and numbers oriented in terms of how many planes come off the lines, as opposed to directing their reports to the chief engineer. So that's looking like that might change as well. The recertification process for this plane will be pretty fascinating to watch because it's really not just about the FAA. Most of the grounded 737 MAX jets are actually flown by overseas mm -hmm. airlines. That's right, the majority China are overseas. China was the first sort of region to ground the MAX and people were looking at that through the lens of the trade tensions between the US and China. I'm curious, who will be the first region to put the plane back in the air, you know, after the FAA does so. I have no idea. My bets are on the United States well, and the FAA. But look, you know, Boeing has now in the past couple of weeks acknowledged that perhaps not all global regulators will allow this aircraft to go back up its, into the air at the same time. Wow. Another thing I wanted to do, though, is just step back away from this Wall Street Journal report and just talk about the big picture. What are the real headwinds for Boeing? And you know, you look at, OK, domestic regulators check. Then you have the international regulators. But now you also have US Congress. You have the House Transportation Committee and Representative DeFazio saying that they want to interview Boeing employees about how the 737 MAX was authorized to go into service. And he's saying that he's not getting a lot of cooperation, although he's acknowledged that he's received what he says are massive uh, quantities of documents. Uh, so there is also pressure there. In addition, we have to look at now crude oil prices and how that is impacting <clears throat> airlines and in turn then may impact their future orders on top of these orders that are already so delayed um, waiting on their Boeing 737 MAX. I am sure there is more to come. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what's in this report. Alexis, thanks so much. You're welcome.